Hi and welcome guys. So this is the review of the Muki OS ROM by Retest for the STC Desire HD and the Inspire 4G. So guys, this ROM is based on the Thunderbird Android version 2.3.7 and this ROM is very fast, smooth and stable. There are no issues with any feature of this ROM. Every feature of this ROM works perfectly and you get a different user interface in this ROM. So, so if you want to try something new, you must try this ROM. As you can see the user interface of this ROM is very different from others. You get a new you get a new user interface. First let me just show you what I am running. And it was on 2.3.7. And the settings tab of this ROM is also different from any other ROM because you get three different tab up over here. A personal tab, system tab and phone tab. Having different settings for your phone. And you can just see the user interface of this ROM is different from, very different from other ROMs Which is quite cool And the uh, notification bar of this ROM is also very useful because you get two different tabs One the notification tab and another the switch tab Here you get different quick settings for your phone From where you can just exit, access the settings quickly which saves a lot of time And is a very useful feature that when, And when you press the home button for a while you enter the switch and app menu the gingerbread style and so this ROM is very simple very smooth and fast you can just see the smoothness of this ROM no lag at all so if you want any replacement for your stock ROM I think you must try this ROM at least you must have a different experience and now holding the home screen for a while you will end up to personalize menu from where you can just add widgets folders or change the wallpapers and you can also have the launcher actions here and in this ROM the most unique feature is the Cyanogen mode settings because the, as this ROM is based on the Cyanogen mode you get the Cyanogen mode settings here where you have option to customize your phone which is very useful and you can just customize your phone according to your need you get the application option here the display option the input the interface option the lock screen option from where you can just select the lock screen style and you can also add different gestures for your lock screen so let me just show you by building a gesture so to unlock my phone I could just use a straight line so that's done and now while unlocking I can I can just swipe my finger down to just unlock my phone so that's a very unique and cool feature which you won't get in most of the ROMs and you also get different up lock screen style like the sliding tab, rotatory, lens and the ring having different different options for each of the style and you get a different option for your sound system for your tablet tweaks and in the personal menu you get a theme chooser option where you get different options like the motor blur, the sense the iNexus, the Xperia so just try them all and from here you can just you can just say change your settings option here by just disabling and enabling it and now let's go to the app menu so you get the DSP manager here which is very useful to improve your sound quality and as many options for your to improve your sound so just check it and all the other features of this ROM works perfectly as I said before the Play Store the Google Maps this ROM is very smooth and stable and the battery life of this ROM is also very good and you can increase the battery life of this ROM by just going to the settings Sanazon mode settings performance tab and you can just decrease the CPU set frequency here and if you decrease the CPU frequency the overall performance of your phone would decrease but the battery consumption would also decrease and the battery life would last really long you, you also have different modes like power, save, performance so you can just increase the CPU frequency while playing some SD games and you will be able to play those games smoothly you, will, you won't encounter any lag but the battery consumption would be high so just increase the CPU frequency when you have full battery 
So guys, overall this ROM is very unique from other ROMs. You get a different user interface. You get different experience. So that's all about the review part of this ROM. So guys, I posted the XGA thread of this ROM on the descri description box. So just check it. And if you have any query, just comment below or it like hit me on Facebook for further updates. So that's all about the review part of this ROM. If you like this video, just click the thumbs up button and subscribe by and subscribe guys. Have a nice day.